I hire him here. Last night I got a message from John over at Flat Cat Gear where he said, I just saw your video on the Sawyer inline kit. That was a video I did a couple of days ago about this inline kit that I found over at my Army Navy store. Anyway, he said it looks pretty cool. I'm planning to use the standard Sawyer squeeze. I wish there was a better way to squeeze the water directly into a bottle. Then I thought about the tornado tube as an adapter. He said that, he goes on to say, it seems that you should be able to screw it onto the outlet threads and then screw a bottle into the adapter. He saw a video that somebody's putting out where they're making an adapter for $15. But when he asked him about it, he said that the tornado tube had the wrong threads. So I thought I'd check that out because it doesn't make any sense. The, uh, this is the Sawyer Squeeze. This comes with bags that you put onto this end, threads in, and then it also has threads on the other side that are the same size as a soda bottle. You, oh, I don't have one here. You can put a soda bottle cap on here. So if that works, I thought something like this tornado tube, just like John was saying, this is a tornado tube that kids use where they put two liter bottles on either end, one of them full of water, then when you put it upside down with the water on the top, it makes like a tornado going in here. Anyway, it's made to screw on to two liter bottles, which should be the same thread as this. The one problem that comes in is for support, I don't know if you can see it here, but there's an extra long lip here. So it won't go on that way. It's too deep. Hopefully I'm showing you this. But if you cut a ring off, like I did on this side, cut a, that's about a quarter inch ring. It would depend on your uh, tornado tube too. I'm sure they're all made differently. But I just cut a ring off and then it fits on just like that. Now from here you can put any kind of bottle on that'll fit. Uh, the one that was on the thing was a platypus, platypus bottle. Now this one that I have has a standard soda bottle neck on it so that'll fit on here one like this, this platypus, doesn't. It has a wide open top on it. So you could still feed it in there. I'm using this for something else. I want to make a dual system where the Sawyer goes into this part. But anyway, you couldn't use a platypus like that. But there's all kinds of other ones. These are ones that you can get at uh, office supply places. This has a soda bottle top on it. That would fit in there. But in this case, I'm going to use the platypus. Just thread it on like so and unfortunately you won't be able to see the whole thing it does fit. Now what I'll do is I'll set up the camera and fill the squeeze part up with water and hang it and then it becomes a gravity filter. So let me set up my camera, move it and we'll be right back for a little demo. Okay I don't know if you can see that but I can see it. The water is going in pretty well without even having to squeeze it. It's just a gravity type feed. The dirty water is on the top in the Sawyer bag. Now I use other bags usually. These I've, I've just been keeping for using demos. It goes through the uh, Sawyer squeeze filter in the direction of the arrow and then there's the uh, tornado tube which I should have cut it down on both sides and the platypus bag would have fit in better but it fits in there. Uh, so, I hope you can see that. Let's see. I mean, it's just gurgling away there. There, hopefully you can see it now. now I forgot to mention, the uh, tornado tubes you can pick up, you can find them on eBay for like maybe a dollar seventy-five plus a dollar or so for shipping. Or if you have a teacher store or one of these educational toy stores in your area, I'm sure you can pick them up there. The whole thing, if you're lucky or unlucky, it's going to cost you $5 maybe for a tornado tube. So, I don't know, paying $15, bucks, that's, that plus, I don't know if they're shipping on that. That's crazy. Uh, go around, check your different educational stores in your area. Um, and... Get you, grab yourself a couple of tornado tubes. I have to get a couple more. I had two others, but I was using them. I used them on the uh, uh, 
filler stations for the alcohol so this is the only one I had left I'll have to go get more but yeah John's right it works great it's just the bags like half full already I don't know if you can see it it's up to about here already hopefully it'll show up on the camera the water there I could have used a larger bag on the top I guess so with a gravity thing like this you don't even need to squeeze just let it hang and do something else while you're doing this so okay John well you're right I think I mean, as far as I'm concerned you're right so I thank you for that message and I thank you for watching I look forward to your input questions remarks helpful suggestions like this and as always watch for my buddy Max bye now